It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe, and I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas. Hello, friends, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here. I am Brandy, and today's video is going to give you all of the motivation that, if you are like me, you do not have right now. I took on a massive project of cleaning out the refrigerator that we will be keeping in the garage which is what all of that stuff at the beginning was from. That just turned out to be a huge project and it's almost done. We ended up with some like electrical issues and like a GFCI, so my husband's helping me with all of that. But today we are just going to be taking on the bottom floor of our house. So the living room, dining room, entryway, and kitchen. I really need to get it all straightened up. I have this thing where I cannot move on to another project if my house is a mess. I think it's almost like procrastinating because I know once I start another project, I'm gonna get like swept up into it. So let's go ahead and jump right into today's video. No, I can't wait for the weekend. Waking up next to you. We'll be sharing a secret. Making dreams come true Let's have a toast for the lovers We'll tumble round in the snow And my heart's going boom, boom, boom Now I am in the dining room and I'm just picking up all of the weird things that have accumulated. My kids are on Christmas break and when Mackenzie and Scotty are together for long periods of time, you just never know what they are going to come up with from building things to making things. It's just like a little path of destruction that I have to follow close behind or else everything just gets out of control. But yes, you also will see there is a nugget in our dining room and no, it's not going to stay there permanently. I got it out of the camper recently and when I purchased the nugget, we used it while we were in the camper and then it was going to go into our media room when we built our house, but since plans changed, I'm not really sure where the nugget is going to live. So for now, it is going to be tucked away in the dining room. And yes, I am totally struggling with putting this centerpiece back together. We lost power a few nights ago. Oh my goodness, it was like nine o'clock at night. The kids had not fallen asleep yet. It was a school night and our power went out. It was insanely windy. I'm talking like tropical storm force wind type of thing. And our power went out for a solid hour and my kids freaked out. So I was like, oh my goodness, I have battery candles on the table. So I ran down, got the battery candles and they totally saved the night. So that is a huge eye opener that I need to go ahead and get a little storm kit prepped because I was not prepared. And when we were in Florida, we went through so many hurricanes and knock on wood, we never lost power while we lived in our last house during a storm. So this was just not expected. But moving on to the kitchen, you see the battery daddy out because we were just scrambling for batteries. And now I know, I mean, you live and you learn, right? When I bought the battery daddy, I think my husband thought I was a little bit crazy. We were getting ready to move out of our house. So I just had random batteries everywhere because I didn't want to put things into storage with the batteries still in them. So I was like, what am I going to do with all of these different batteries? And this thing has been perfect. I can keep every single type of battery in here and we know right where they're at. You're so beautiful. What a Wait 
talking on the phone I make you feel at home Oh, when I got you by my side What a night I would love to check in and see how everyone is doing. I know the holidays can just be a stressful time. It can be a happy time, but at the same time, it can just be a really, really hard and stressful time. I hope everyone is doing good. I hope your family is staying healthy. My family has definitely been put through the ringer this cold and flu season. I, I mean, as you can see, it's 10.30 at night and I'm scrubbing my stove top. Life has just been so crazy and every day is just going by so fast. It seems like my poor kids cannot catch a break from all of the illnesses. I don't know what is happening. I feel so bad. Like after I got done cleaning, I went upstairs. My 10 year old came in and said, mommy, my stomach hurts. And I was like, okay, you'll be okay. Just go lay down and then all of a sudden she got sick everywhere. So, I mean, we just cannot catch a break, and I think it's really starting to wear on my mental health, but you'll have to let me know how is life for everybody. Are your kids doing okay? I've heard so many moms say the same thing, that they just cannot catch a break this cold and flu season, so I really do hope and pray your family is staying healthy and that you will be able to have a happy and healthy Christmas. Whoa, oh, oh. Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? In our Christmas memories. Oh, oh. Da, da, da. oh my goodness, this makes me laugh. So the other day, Scotty decided to help me and do the dishes. And I went to start putting them away a little bit after they had dried, like he had put them on the towel to dry. And I got a huge whiff of eucalyptus. And I was like, what is that smell? And I smelt the dishes and I knew right away what he had done. I was like, Scotty, did you use the hand soap to clean the dishes? And he just looked at me like... We don't have a hand soap at the sink, and he's right. Like, I've never kept hand soap at our kitchen sink, but with this cold, dry air, my hands are getting so dried out. So I found this super cute hand soap at TJ Maxx the other day, and it obviously caught him totally off guard because all of our dishes smelt super minty. But side note, also, that Dawn squeeze is super cool. I love how easy it is. I'm always like messing with the flap on the other bottle, so this squeeze bottle is so easy. Oh, oh, oh. Da, 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 da. Oh, oh. Christmas memories I've been wrapping presents for you I've been hanging marbles in the tree And I've lit my house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me And when we wake up in the morning I'm gonna play those carols that you love We'll be singing all the melodies Until the sun comes up the good times with you baby this year is just gonna be you and me hang by the fire and chill isn't this how it's supposed to be making our
that's gonna be you and me Christmas memories Hold up, I am on my way I'm in motion Let's go to the ocean Yeah, let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing So, do you remember when I said earlier that I have to follow behind Scotty and Mackenzie or else they just kind of cause a path of destruction? Well, they made a blanket fort with the nugget earlier today and they used tape to tape together the blankets. And for some reason, the tape was super sticky on this particular day and it stuck right to that blanket. So I spent a good few minutes getting all of the tape off of the blanket. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas time. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is pouring. It will always be Christmas in my heart. But this year I wanna hang out with my friends and family. Making angels in the sand, you and me. Doesn't matter if it's Christmas. Santa's coming to visit. Now that the bottom floor was pretty put together, I was able to focus and I'm happy to report back that I started wrapping the next day after I filmed this and I think I have about 70% of our gifts wrapped now. You'll have to let me know in the comments down below how you are doing on wrapping, but that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. Thank you for clicking on my video. I won't have a video next week. I have family coming into town and my little sister and her newborn and her two boys and of course her husband Christopher is going to be staying with us and my parents are going to be staying in the pool house, so I am so excited to spend the holiday with them and just enjoy every second. So I won't have a video next week, but I will see you the week after that. See you all in my next one. Bye! Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance